there is somebody here trying to be in your energy that does not have access to you. Mm. And Spirit wants you to know that you're protected from this person. This person may even be trying to mm, find out if you have a new person coming in. If you're dealing with a new person here. You're going to know who this person is if you just listen very closely to either your intuition or to what other people around you are saying. Spirit is saying right now, listen very closely, be in some form of observant energy and talk less. So listen more and talk less. All right. And there's some energy out here of a soulmate for some reason. I don't know what that soulmate energy is about yet, but I got to say this. This is out here. It's, it's giving karmic. It's giving karmic. I just got to say it. There's a karmic for somebody that you're not talking to anymore that is attached to someone that either is dating your person, somebody from the past that I feel like you have no connection to here. This, this person is still in love with you and the karmic knows that this person is still in love with you. That could very well be the person getting a tarot reading on you or searching for answers. They're trying to find out why this person is still so attached to you, why they're still in love with you. What is it that you have that they don't have? Now, for some of y'all, this could be your person from the past getting readings on you as well too. But that's what it looks like to me. Yeah. See, here's the thing. Yeah. I, I feel like this person, some of y'all might felt like this was a twin flame. But I feel like this is either a false twin flame or this person fell from grace. They're a twin that fell from grace. Meaning they did they failed to heal. They didn't want to do the work. They they prefer to just stay stuck to a karmic. But the karmic knows. <laughs> Oh, this is so crazy. Huh. Say what else, what else here, Spirit, that the collective needs to know? Yeah, this person needs to heal. Thank you. And therapy. They need to heal and they need to get therapy, but they didn't do that. That's why this twin is a false twin. They fall from grace. You know, unfortunately, you're about to meet a new soulmate here or you may have already moved on with somebody else that you have no issues with. Communication is real good. Um, there's just no issues like you and this new soulmate or this new person, whether you've met them yet or not, you, the two of you are going to be on the same page. You're going to meet somebody here who's loyal. They're honest. They're ride or die. They communicate with you very clearly. They're mature. They've already done the work. They've already done the healing here. But I feel like there are people gossiping in the background about you. So just be careful. All you have to do is listen closely and like I said and talk less because I definitely see the energy here of like the, this person's going to show themselves or you might even already know who the ops is. You might already know who the ops is and you have a passed over loved one that is protecting you. Remember we talked about earlier that you have this protection from harm. You have a loved one that's passed over, definitely protecting you and your energy. Could be a grandmother here, uh, could be a grandfather energy here for some of you guys. Uh, I just feel like you have some friends out here too. Fake, there's either some fake family members or some friends or like a group of people, I feel like, okay, however this resonates for you. There's a group of people who are jealous of the connection that you have with somebody else. This person never it would admit that to your face, by the way. Your person would have never admitted this to your face, but you knew this already. You knew these people were jealous of this. Yeah, they they were trying to tell this person that no, that connection is not real. That's just that's just you know sex. That's just casual. That's nothing. You're you're they're you're making up that stuff in your head and your mind. No, you weren't making anything up. Your person wasn't making anything up. That connection was real. It was real, and they were trying to convince your person not to commit to you, not to heal, not to do the work. You know what I'm saying? So you just let that go. Is what I'm getting here. Somebody's getting ready to pop up. Y'all got somebody in your energy that's getting ready to pop up and come to your house or come to your job or they're getting ready to pop up and call you. For some of you, this person wants you to answer the door or answer the phone when they call you. Okay, I just want you to know that. So that's what Spirit is telling you you need to know. Um, 
I told you you have something good new coming in. Y'all have a new person coming in. For some of y'all, this could be a new house or a new a new job, but I'm really getting strongly. There's definitely a new person coming in, and the new person is going to be a soulmate. Somebody that's already healed, done the work. They're a very loyal person. They're a really good communicator. They could be a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. This is going to be somebody here who you might have a baby with this person. This past person keeps coming back up in your energy, though, because they can't let you go. And you know why they can't let you go? Because you're the best they ever had. And I don't feel like this is physical. I feel like this is emotional, spiritual. You know, there are a lot of things about this person that they tried to hide from you. But I feel like you already knew what the deal was with this person. This person just feels like if you knew the truth about them, you would not love them anymore. But you, I feel like you, you did know the truth. You knew the truth. You knew that this person was hiding a lot, but you gave this person grace because of who they were to you, how you viewed the co connection, because you knew that it was something special. But like I said, you know this person is stuck in a karmic cycle, and that's why they're a false twin or they've fallen from grace. And so spirit is saying, well, you know what? Since that didn't work, you're going to get something better. And this better that's coming in, it's on the way. It's definitely on the way. Um, yeah, you're just leaving behind what doesn't serve you anymore. I feel like you've been left this alone. You, you're not dealing with it. Somebody here definitely went through your person's phone, by the way. I, maybe that's why this is coming up here. Somebody either saw some text messages or some emails or some photos or something. Like, they may have caught your person, like... I feel like they caught your person lurking and stalking you. Show me more here. What does the collective need to know? Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, you be careful. All you need to do is listen very closely and pay attention and keep your business to yourself. Because I feel like there's some fake people around you who are acting like they're riding or dying for you, but they are not. They are fake. They're not your real friends or these are co-workers. These are people. Yeah. Ride or die crew literally just came out. Ride or die crew. Literally, as I'm saying that. And that came out after if, if fake as fake as you know what. Ride or die. I'm telling you there's somebody here who's acting like they family members or friends. This card literally says family members or friends. Either this is, if this isn't your crew or your family or your friends, this person from the past has some fake friends around them that tried to convince your person that the two of y'all's connection wasn't like legit, you know, thank you spirit for clarifying that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. What is getting ready to go on? I feel like somebody's getting ready to pop up. You know what? This person, when they see you or if they're lurking and stalking you from like a ghost account or a fake account or something, somebody's amazed and blown away at like how beautiful you are or how handsome you are or something um, here. Maybe you're like looking way better than you used to look. Mm. Clarify this um, energy here. Yeah, you're glowing. I'm telling you, you look real, real, real good. Lights up whenever you're near someone is near you. Hold on, what is the show me who is this person? This might be new energy, but I'm gonna see. Yeah, somebody is bothered by you looking great. You doing great. Yeah, they're they're bothered by the fact that you have this star energy. Whenever you walk into the room, you get attention. You how they're 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 crazy and concerned about which is what I'm saying. Why 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 do you care? Like why do you care that somebody looks better than the last time you saw them? Every time they see you, they're blown away at how beautiful you are. Or like this person's just real bothered by that. Mm -mm. What else does a collective need to know? 
this person I'm telling you is about to find out if you're going to deal with them again. They're either going to try to test your temperature and see if you answer the phone or you answer the door or you answer a text. They're trying to see how far they're going to be able to push you. But be careful with that energy because I feel like somebody's playing games. Somebody's playing games in your energy. I feel like what is this energy about? Clarify this energy, please. Okay, I'm not picking that up. There's some sexual energy out here. Wants to leave the past behind and start fresh. This is you trying to leave the past behind. Like I said, you're not... I, you're definitely not interested in this anymore. What else does the collective need to know? Yeah, you're not interested in this situation anymore. You're really not. Yeah, this person... <laughs> See, here's the deal. The thing is, with you, you know why you're so special? Because there is more than one thing about you that your person loves, okay? And I did say love. It's not just about the physical, even though it looks like you already got that one in the bag, right? It's about who you are on the inside, how you showed up, you're healed, you know what I'm saying? You're you're minding your own business. You take very well good care of yourself mentally and physically, and you're smart, you know what I'm saying? Like there are many different layers that um make you up, right? Of make up who you are. And now it's like this person's regretting it or people are regretting it and they're seeing that energy, you know? And I feel like a lot of these people that did that to you, some people switched up on you. It's like the energy of like people switching up on you after you healed and you glowed up or something. You know what I'm saying? It's like, what's this, what's this cover of energy about? Let me clarify something. What's this cover of energy about? Because I feel like somebody's hiding, hiding something here that they don't want you to know about. Either the... Yeah, so... Okay, hold on. Hold on, y'all. Give me a second. Let me... Yeah, 411. Somebody here might try to call you from a fake number here. Or you may have... Some of y'all may have changed your number altogether. There's somebody here that's trying to act like they're single and that they've changed, but I don't feel like they've changed. So this person, be aware that this person may come back towards you when and if they do pop up, right? Because that energy came out. It's like this person doesn't want you to know the truth. It's like they're still hiding something here. They're still hiding something. I don't trust this energy. You know, or somebody here feels like you're you're acting like you're okay being single, for those of you who are single, they feel like you're faking you're happy. You're not faking anything. For crosswashers, like, the collective's not faking this. Not from the energy I'm seeing. So show me more here about this cover-up energy. What's this person trying to prevent from coming out? That they have a preg somebody's pregnant for some of y'all. That somebody has a family or they're getting ready to got somebody pregnant here. And they know that if you find this out, that it's going to be over. Finality. Leave behind. Okay? You're going to... It's going to be done. It's going to be done. Mm-hmm. Show me more here about what they're trying to hide. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm telling you, look at this. Divine masculine, divine. Look at you, I'm telling you. Beauty, charm, grace, kind-hearted. This is you, divine feminine just came out and this was on the bottom of the deck. You're not faking anything. You're, you are happy, you're glowing up, you look great. People see you for what this is. Beauty, beautiful on the inside and the outside. And this divine masculine came out with divine feminine and healing, by the way. This divine masculine sees you as someone who's very healing, very loving. Somebody here who has changed their perception about certain things and what a real relationship that involves real love that's healed and healthy, what it looks like. You gave this person collective an, an example of that, okay? And they ran from it. 
So for some of y'all, they may have even ghosted you, you know, because they wanted to chase thrills, have a good time. You know what I'm saying? And now this person is sinking and in despair and their whole life is falling apart and they probably got somebody pregnant here and now they're in this energy of like, it's over. The collective walked away. They're, they've destroyed their life. Oh, they feel cursed and hexed. Somebody may feel like you may have put a curse on them and not. The collective did not do that. Divine Feminine does not do that. I'm telling you. This person, it was in their pride and their ego. I'm telling you. Hmm. This person's in their pride and their ego. Show me more energy here for this Divine Masculine, please. Show me this Divine Masculine's current energy. Somebody might like Hennessy. I don't know why I even said that. Because this looks like a bottle of like brown liquor or Hennessy. But I'm going to tell you this. Somebody may have stopped drinking here recently. And now they are doing a lot of praying and reading the Bible. So, show me this divine masculine energy right now. This person is avoiding a spiritual, um, a spiritual ascension. Seven of Wands and the Hierophant. I feel like they're avoiding a spiritual ascension. They feel like you are protecting your energy and protecting your space. They feel like you turned your back on them. They feel like you walked away and you leveled up. You glowed up. You look great. You're doing great. Um, they're fearful. Maybe they're the one that are also getting readings on you. Could be them and the karmic too, trying to find out information about you. They feel like you may have moved on or they know that you're going to be moving on because you've done all this work and you're about to have a commitment. But I feel like, you know, this masculine definitely feels like you have leveled up already and you've done the work and you don't want to talk to them. <clears throat> Show me this divine masculine's energy. Could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn here. A King of Pentacles just came out. <clears throat> this King of Pentacles definitely is somebody here who de may have children uh, or be in another commitment with somebody else. Show me this masculine energy. See what I'm saying? This person does not want you to find out anything. Look at all this secretive energy. The moon and the high priestess. Cancer energy, Pisces energy here. They're hiding like... Something they don't want you to know. Three of Wands. Hmm. Clarify the moon. Why is the moon here with the High Priestess? They can't even make up their mind on what they want to do. Two of Swords. This person's in denial. They're in a lot of denial about what's going on in their life and the road that they're headed down. Why is the moon here with the high priestess? This person also has a blocked intuition. They don't listen to their feelings. They don't listen to their emotion. Um, yeah. See what I'm saying? They're stuck. They don't know what they don't listen to their feelings or their emotions. They're just like waiting. They're not taking any action here with this two of wands and this eight of swords. Somebody feels trapped too in some other situation also. But see here, here they go. They they're getting ready to come towards you because you're in this energy, Aquarius energy or Cancer here with the star card. But this this uh, chariot energy here with this Knight of Cups is this person wanting to pop up and give you this love offer. <clears throat> Showing us masculine energy. Somebody's in denial here. They want to reunite here. Four of Wands. Show me this masculine energy. The Emperor. Show me this masculine energy, please. Oh, this is somebody new. I feel like this is a new energy coming towards you. Either way, you have something good coming towards you, I feel like. Is this Emperor somebody new, Spirit? Is this Emperor somebody new? What was that? The tower, something unexpected. Is this emperor somebody new? Scorpio energy here. The judgment and the tower card is coming out. You're about to, somebody's about to shock you. Something is, somebody's about to do something very shocking here. Show me, show me more here about this emperor. What may shock you is that somebody here, the person that you may not be talking to, they could be a Virgo, um, 
they're ending something. They're trying to make a choice to end something to come towards you. Gemini energy with the lovers. Somebody might even be getting a divorce. But that doesn't mean anything because honestly, it's like... Let me clarify. Why, clarify the lover's card, please. Why is the lover's here? Okay, something's getting ready to be revealed. The sun card wanted to show itself. Somebody's getting ready to make a decision for their own happiness. They're deciding to be happy. Clarify the lovers. Yeah. Something's getting ready to be revealed. And whatever it is that's getting ready to be revealed is an ending. It's a betrayal. Something shocking. Somebody's about to find out they're being betrayed. Shock. Seven of Swords energy. It's Seven of Swords. Seven of Cups. Oh, it's some drama. It's some drama. I want to pull here. Why is the Seven of Swords here with the Ten of Swords? What's this Ten of Swords and Seven of Swords energy about? This masculine was betrayed. They're about to find out they were betrayed. Yeah, well, we know there is a decision. I'm telling you, this person in this lover's energy, they have a choice to make. And they're about to make a decision. They're not going to be wasting any more time. This person is realizing... Like they had low expectations and they were stuck in a karmic toxic cycle. Somebody here definitely could have been pregnant or something. And there is something involving some form of betrayal that's going to be an ending. And somebody is seeing having a realization about something with this judgment energy here and this tower card. Something shocking is about to be revealed. Yeah, third party, some sort of, I'm telling you. This person knows you get a lot of attention here. Okay. This, this Here's the thing. This person knows you get a lot of attention because you're in this, this really good energy and you've been taking good care of yourself mentally and physically and emotionally, right? But I just feel like as long as this person, this masculine, was going to try to keep you in a third-party situation or as long as this masculine is doing all this other stuff, putting people in third-party situations, um, whatever the third party, who had the third party, they weren't, spirit was not going to protect this person from karma. Assistance and spirit guides came out in reverse. They're no longer protecting this, per protecting this person from... Um, Karma, because of this. So that's why that tower is coming out here. Somebody's not going to be able to um, avoid the tower any longer. And so now this person wants to apologize for disappointing you. And they're really hoping that you're going to accept their apology. I'm telling you. They want to apologize to you for running away from you. This is why this tower is coming through here. You see what I'm saying? This structure and this solid foundation is in reverse. And that is the whole reason why a tower moment happens. Because this twin flame that fell from grace, some of y'all might have been dealing with a twin, could have just been dealing with a divine masculine, doesn't matter, okay? This person was not listening to their third eye. They were not listening to their intuition. They did not have any clarity. They were not on a solid foundation. Like, they weren't listening. They didn't listen. They didn't listen to what spirit guys told them. So now spirit is like, okay, well then the tower, the tower must fall. Unfortunately, yeah. What about this past energy here? This is what's happening right now. I'm telling you, this is yeah. Right now, this person is sad. They're in this three of swords energy. They're crushed. They feel alone, and I'm telling you, there's somebody in, if they're in a relationship and a connection with somebody else, all they do is argue with their person. They're not getting along. They might even be, uh, you know, doing this other person, doing everything they can to keep this other person away from you, which is kind of funny to me because it looks like to me, you don't give a damn what is going on over wherever with whoever. There's no competition. Not from what I'm seeing here. There's no competition. Yeah, you're chill. You don't you don't care what's going on, but see this other person does care. 
This other person does care. Yeah, I'm telling you. I don't, show me more here about this situation. What else does the what else does the collective need to know about this situation? You close this cycle with this person. You know, th you know what though? This is this person. I also feel like they are closed off. You know, they were closed off with you and guarded with you and resisted the connection because they were too busy stuck not healing, not growing, listening to what everybody else had to say about you or about listening to what they had to say about the connection that the two of you had. But I really feel like this is also your energy too. You 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 just shut down on this person. Yeah. I feel like somebody here is getting ready to give you a fake apology. I, I don't Somebody's still wearing a mask. This person is still hiding something from you. Okay, so just be, be careful with that. Yeah, toxic, unhealthy behavior, unhealthy people, unhealthy everything over there. Cleansing. You need to cleanse your energy here. Remove negative energy. But see, that came out in reverse. This person, like I said, this person decided not to heal, not to distance themselves from this connection or from these toxic fake friends or fake people around them. They decided not to to remove any negative, you know, address whatever it is they needed to address and heal. It's unfortunate. You know, this person feels you slipping away though. They do. And you're not waiting anymore. This person knows you're not waiting anymore. This car waiting just came out in reverse. They know you're not waiting anymore. With this, It came out with this dying love. They feel you slipping away. I mean, you already slipped away. I, I feel like you are no longer emotional over this person. They know that. You're not bothered anymore. But they are bothered at the fact that you are no longer bothered. Let's we'll see what zodiac signs you can be dealing with here. Um, also, too, uh, we had Scorpio energy out here. We have Pisces. We have Cancer. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Aries. Um, I think I saw the star card earlier too. That was um, Aquarius. And you could be any of these zodiac signs. You could be dealing with one. If you guys need a personal reading, that information is going to be below in the description box. Join us on Patreon where we also do twin flame readings. Oh, Libra. Did I say Libra? And Leo too because the sun card is out here as well too. Uh, let me make sure I didn't miss anybody else. Oh, Gemini, the magician, is out here. Let me see. Did I miss anybody else? Definitely we saw the lovers, so that's still Gemini. And you could be dealing with... Make sure you guys hit the like button and subscribe to the channel, please. Aries, it could be dealing with an Aries. It could be dealing with a Taurus, a Leo, a Capricorn a Pisces or a Capricorn again, okay? That's your reading, you guys. Bye.